on Inside Stuff with Martin Soloja this week, we'll talk on National Assembly versus Buhari, the context and the content. It is important to discuss this thing because uh, we can see from all indications that uh, there is trouble in Abuja. It's like uh, the, there are so many complications there on governance and the citizens should be worried that the ruling party cannot put its house in order. And the presidency is also chaotic. The president agreed with the leadership of House of Representatives after an invitation that he would be with them on Thursday, December 10, on security issues that he would want to discuss with the National Assembly. Some people went ahead and even interpreted the invitation that there will be a joint session of the National Assembly. People expected the National Assembly to put his house in order first because of the visitation of the president. It was supposed to be speech from the throne to the National Assembly. Of course, to the people of Nigeria through the National Assembly. What is National Assembly? National Assembly of Nigeria is a bicameral legislature, meaning that there are two chambers, the Senate and the House of Representatives. So the, the chairman of the joint session at any time is the president of the Senate. And the deputy chairman of the joint session of National Assembly, that is the National Assembly, is the speaker according to an act of the National Assembly. The number three citizen in the country is the president of the Senate. And number four, according to the Order of National President Act, is the speaker, not the president, the deputy president of the Senate, is the speaker. So the speaker of the House of Representatives set the tone for the invitation. They wanted the president to address them on national security issues because of the kidnapping here and there, 110 uh, rice farmers murdered, as we discussed here before. So they wanted the president to come. They invited him. After the resolution of the House of Representatives, the leadership of the House of Representatives visited the president to convey the message to him. And when the, they addressed the nation, they said the president had agreed to address the nation. And from the presidency, there was a confirmation that the president will come to the National Assembly. Thereafter, the Attorney General of the Federation, that on the eve of invitation, the Attorney General of the Federation said the House of Representatives did not have any right under the law to invite the President, to summon the President. The President was not summoned, he was invited. There's a remarkable difference between a summon and an invitation. They didn't summon the President, they didn't query him. It was to address national security concerns. There had been some appropriations to security agencies that have not performed from the look of things. So they wanted to do this, but look at the chaos now. Even the leadership of the Senate joined the Attorney General of the Federation, a member of the executive, to condemn the action of the House of Representatives that was peacefully done. Where do you do that? It is only in Nigeria that kind of chaos can be reported. The deputy president of the Senate was even on record to have condemned the House of Representatives for inviting the president, the head of the executive. Our constitution approves three arms of government, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. In this instance, they initiated an action from the House of Representatives, the leadership of the National Assembly, that is the president of the Senate, who is the chairman of the joint section, session of the National Assembly, should have arranged without any problem with the House of Representatives to receive the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in a joint ses session to be presided over by the President of the Senate according to our laws. But nothing happened. Now the Attorney General, who is not a spokesperson, the Attorney General will just issue a press release to scuttle the visitation. 
where the president would have addressed this nation on national security concerns and national security issues. But now there is chaos in Abuja. The National Assembly is chaotic. The presidency is chaotic. The office of the Attorney General is chaotic. Who is the victim of this chaos? The citizen. Only yesterday, you will see that businessmen were kidnapped on the road to Kaduna from Abuja. Between Abuja and Kaduna, Kano citizens, businessmen were killed. These were part of the issues of national uh, uh, security concern that made the House of Representatives to invite the president. As we speak, nothing has been addressed. And now blaming themselves, National Assembly people are, are blaming themselves. They can't put their house in order. The office of the president cannot put the office of the president in order. There is nothing extraordinary about invitation to the president. Our constitution allows it. The people should read sections 308, sections 88 and 89. You will find everything concerning invitation or all those things. This is not the time to show power. It is not the time to show off. You say, I have the power, I don't have the power. Welfare and security of the citizens, according to our constitution, shall be the primary responsibility of government. Why is it that people, the National Assembly and the presidency are fighting over security and, and welfare of the citizen? I believe that this should be resolved. It shouldn't be about who is right or who is wrong. It is about what is right. And what is right is for the President and the National Assembly to discuss the security of this country. That is my view. What is yours? Drop your opinion in the comments section and let's continue from there. This is Inside Stuff with Martins Ologia, The Guardian, Nigeria.